ሰላም ዛሬ ስለ ክሮኒክ ኦብስትራክቲቭ ፕሉሚናሪ ዲዚዝ ወይም ሲኦፒዲ እናወራለን ሲኦፒዲ ዲዚዝ ዲዚዝ ዲፊኒሽን ዘ ዲዚዝ ስቴት ኢዝ ካራክተራይዝድ ባይ ዘ ኤር ፍሎ ሊሚቴሽን ዛት ኢዝ ኖ ፉሊ ሪቨርሲብል ሶ ዘ ዲዚዝ ኢንቲቲ ኦፍ ሲኦፒዲ ኢዝ ኖ ፉሊ ኢዝ ኖ ሪቨርሲብል ዳት ሚንስ ቶታሊ ኢት ኢዝ ኢሪቨርሲብል ታይፕስ ኦፍ ዲዚዝ ሶ ሲኦፒዲ ኢዝ ኢንክሉድ the emphysema these are not chemically defined the condition is characterized by the destruction in the, la- the enlargement of the lung alveola that is emphysema the other parts of COPD is chronic bronchitis this clinically define the condition with chronic cough and feel gum and the third parts of COPD is small airway disease this is a condition in which small bronco bronchioles are narrow generally the emphysema the bronchial bronchitis chronic bronchitis small airway disease included under COPD so COPD is present so COPD is present only in the chronic airflow obstruction so the chronic bronchitis the chronic bronchitis without the chronic airflow obstruction is not included within COPD. Look, emphysema, chronic bronchitis, small airway disease is included under COPD. But pro- to say chronic bronchitis is included under COPD, COPD is chronic bronchitis, it should, in, it should, nah, it should present the chronic airway obstruction. Without chronic airway obstruction, there is no include involvement of chronic bronchitis within COPD. So COPD is the fourth leading cause of the death. The fourth leading cause of the what is the risk of COPD? Mindenacho is called true. The risk of COPD is cigarette smoking. So cigarette smoking is the main risk of the major risk of COPD. So the major risk factor for mortality from chronic bronchitis and emphysema is cigarette smoking. So accelerate decline the functional expiratory volume in one minute uh, is directly relationship with pactary so ti miyachesut weyim demo cigarette smokeroch ba metus yemiyachesut packet per year functional expiratory volume wanga directly menallo relationship allo so cigarette smoking is one risk factor for Uh, COPD. However, there is a considerable variability in response to smoking. Only 50% of variability in functional volume volume one is explained by packed berry. Hullo chu madet sayon around 15% to yemi hunut nacho ka smoking ga related mi argo. Even if cigarette smoking is direct relationship with uh, COPD. but around only 50% of variability in functional expiratory volume one is explained by packed berry additional environmental exposure uh, genetic factor is related to cigarette smoking with COPD okay, COPD ga environmental factor genetic factor which related the other gal So the effect of cigarette smoking on pulmonary function appear to depend on the function it depend on the intensity of smoking exposure one the intensity of smoking exposure time of exposure many al gizey no miyachesut for how many uh, how long or how many years Uh, the other one is the baseline lung function of the individual so your baseline lung function that means young uh, the young baseline function of the individual young is different from old old is different from young so as a environmental factor may have similar things most individual follow steadily trajectory increasing the pulmonary function with a growth during childhood so followed by gradual decline with age so this is other factor which determine cigarette smoking with COPD
This is a picture of the graph uh, which shows cigarette smoking, pack per year, and the developments of uh, COPD. The other risk factor for COPD airway responsiveness and COPD. Airway responsiveness is the tendency for increasing the tendency for the tendency for increasing bronchial constriction, constriction in response to a variety of exogenous stimuli, including meta, methylcholine histamine, is one of the defending features of asthma. So the metacholine histamine it has a main defending feature of asthma. So increasing the increasing the bronchial bronchoconstriction, yeah, bronchial tubo chu constrict mahon, dum dum metacholine histamine mi bald chemical which memorat it directly relation with asthma. However, many patients with COPD also share their feature of airway hyperresponsiveness. Airway hyperresponsiveness. So, if there is any chemical which, if there is any chemical which increases the responsiveness of a bronchus, airway response le telayu chemical le stamilion chila le drugion chila le telayu allergic kozuch hyperion response misat kona. That is the other risk factor for COPD development. The Dutch hypothesis said that Dutch hypothesis men alone agree. So the Dutch hypothesis holds that there is asthma, chronic bronchitis, and emphysema are variation of some basic diseases, which is modulated by. Nazi asthma, chronic bronchitis, emphysema, menila chonagroch, the man modulated daragal mallet, Nazi yen Nazi beshit out, and Kasak assay the naman determined daragal, the environmental factor, the genetical factor, they determine. So their pathophysiological distinct entities can be determined by environmental and genetical factor. So asthma, chronic bronchitis, emphysema, they determine, they modulated by environmental factor and genetical factor. Environmental factor is genetical factor. Pathological distinct entity determine which hypothesis. So the alternative British hypothesis contain that the asthma and COPD are fundamental different diseases. The British hypothesis minila asthma, the asthma, and the COPD are fundamental different diseases. Even if the asthma can cause bronchoconstrictive and COPD can cause bronchoconstrictive, let the two bronchoconstrictive be a metal, ye minor attuity pathophysiology, the lay is lona. The British hypothesis minila, those these are different. It lay bushtosh natural. In so the asthma is viewed as largely allergic phenomena. Look, lemon denomilo, the asthma it is allergic phenomena. The main causative agent for asthma is allergy. But COPD, COPD results from smoking related inflammation and smoking related damage. Asthma as allergic phenomena, ye miamet of stan, catavala, superdigin itale yentitial. Smoking related inflammation, but much as mucnet, when the smoking mucnet, ye me fetter inflammation in a busy inflammation mucnet, ye me fetter alveolar or lung parenchymal damage, ye me fetter bestan. Below British hypothesis, Kulotu chubestau, ye tela you nacho, Linakra. The respiratory infection is another risk factor for developments of uh, uh, COPD. The controversial, controversial, and now, and then to respiratory infection, the COPD development, mukneyat adalam bleh sabalu, and then to dagmo the COPD development main factor now bleh yas sabalu. So also the respiratory infections are important cause of 
important cause of exacerbation of COPD. COPD tababasa COPD la makasar gin mekniyat no. Even if it is not risk factor for COPD, but respiratory infection is the main cause of exacerbation of COPD. COPD and the gana and the nasa. When the shita with am di bawas liader gie michil yar galuta guli tasawal. The association of both adult and childhood respiratory infections to the development and progression of COPD remain proven. So the development of COPD is exacerbated by the respiratory infection, many upper respiratory infection and lower respiratory infections. The other factors of other risk factors of COPD is occupational exposures. Increase the occupational exposure. Yes, Rahunita and Denya Betam history line. Come in take a chitil Nagaro to sell COPD occupational history. Ye good dinner. So the occupational history in the Golamendino because occupational status of the patient directly related to COPD development. The COPD development got directly correlates the matter. Kulebion. Olympion, uh, so occupational exposure increases the respiratory symptoms and airflow obstruction have been suggested to result for a general exposure to dust and firm at work. So at the workplace, if a patient who got dust and firm, the patient can expose it for uh, COPD. Like COPD, <clears throat> also, non smoker in the occupation develops some reduction in functional ex uh, expiratory volume. One. The importance of dust exposure at risk factor for COPD independent for cigarette smoking, not certain for some, most of the exposures. Even if so, to cigarette and biochosu, the dust particle exposure carlacho, the misaru betakababi. Minimized cigar, we have demo independent cigar smoking bin or bacho. Observe new to patient which minimized effect tagging a bacho functional expiratory volume one and so on it again. So let's see, dust exposure at occupational start is the risk factor for COPD. Then the next word is going to be added now. So the occupational history is going to be on the occupation history. The occupational history. Ye misaru bat fabrika wey makababi dust particles chemicals nes binna ye mi baza pachona cho wey sader lumbleno. The other factors of COPD is factor of COPD is abinate air pollution. The abinate air pollution is ye binna ye mi baza bata kabi lamsali ne China Japan lende zina gurush tagalaj industrial akababi lazi abinate air pollutants tagalaj usnacho. Some investigators have reported increased respiratory system in those living in urban compared to rural areas. So the urban has most abinate air pollutants. Bzu abinate yono air pollutants mi genyu bacho akabi usnacho. So, which may relate to increase the pollution in the urban city. However, the relationship of air pollution to chronic airflow obstruction remain unproved. Minimal risk factor nazi COPD patient katama kababi bibazu prove ganal tataraga air pollution ka. COPD ga a relationship parlo yello me milon prove madregen altachal so the biomass combustion combustion enezi ye biomass combustion yemiseru akababiyoch prolonged exposure to to biomass smoke is significant risk factor for COPD among women in developing countries nezi developing country ust yeminoru soch le energy bilo bio enten biomassochin Due to that, the patient who prolonged contact with the biomass can develop for the future COPD. COPD develop a mark chance, you know, on the block, that's about the miscellaneous. Some miscellaneous mallet can nazi kadam kataran la chocopational risk factor, smoking, biomass, air pollutant coming in la chocopetech and mari. Some 
ሚሴሌኒየስ ኤክስፕሪስ ፋክተሮች አሉ። patient who who passive smoker ለምሳሌ one now one as smoker አለ passive smoker ወይ ደግሞ passive የሚያጨሰ በሚያጨሰ አካባቢ የሚኖር ሰዎች አባቲ የሚያጨስ ከሆነ ሚስጥየዋ ለረጅም ጊዜ ለዛ በባሊው በሚያጨስበት ሰዓት ልጆች ወይም ሚስጢቱ ለረጅም ጊዜ ለዚህ ፓሲቭ ስሞከር ከሆነች COPD ዴቨሎፕድ ማርክቻ ሲኖራታል ሳም ጄኔቲክ ኮንሲደሬሽን ዘ ዴቨሎፕመንትስ ኦፍ ኤር ፍሎ ኦብስትራክሽን ኢዝ ሞከር ኢዝ ሃይሊ ቫሪብ ዘ ፔሽንት ሁ ሃስ ሲቨር alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency have a proven genetic risk factor patientochi kemnasserilachu laboratory ust alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency yallebachu yellebachu emidiyom alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency genetical problem selezi ihi deficiency alpha 1 antitrypsin yemenelaw deficiency yallebachu patientochi most commonly they have the chance to develop COPD COPD develop in mild chance chance kaftenya no malatno what is the pathophysiology of COPD the pathophysiology of COPD it is a persistent it's a persistent reduction in forced expiratory flow rate the most typical finding of COPD is the reduction in forced expiratory flow rate in 1 minute it increase the residual volume samba ost yemiqaraw ye air metan residual volume nilawallan that is increase in COPD patients so the residual volume or the total lung capacity ratio is high residual volume to total lung capacity ratio kaftenya yona then uniform distributions of a ventilation and the ventilation perfusion mismatch also occur due to that COPD menelaw neger ye residual volume yichemran total lung capacity beza constant hono ne miqoyo so residual volume total lung capacity volume min yona maritna ratio yiqan yichemran so this is a chronic bronchitis emphysema and asthma the difference the chronic bronchitis there is a wall thickness wall betam thick yona emphysema lay degmo sinay the alveolar the alveolar duct become dilated betam dilated yona alveolar duct alveola indium demo respiratory alveola menilacho below the distal or terminal bronchiole ka terminal bronchiole betach yallu structures totally distracted yonallu due to this distraction there is a dilation increase the cavity final they can develop emphysema emphysema mi balo neger develop yonal chronic bronchitis like gem the tunica intima tunica media menellacho be mainly ye tunica media yemenelo ye bronchiole part thick yonal so the canal canalu betam narrow yonal due to that there is a bronchial constriction and there is air obstruction air obstruction yikasetan martin bezim kinet so one of the pathophysiology of uh, copd is air flow obstruction the uh, air flow obstruction one of the pathophysiology of uh, copd so this is reduce the ratio of forced expiratory volume one and forced vital capacity this ratio is decrease due to the obstruction unlike asthma asthma millayo the 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 reduced forced expiratory volume and so pd is sealed forced expiratory volume one asthma laim so pd laim yikanisalu reduce yaragal gin so pd la yeminoro ye forced expiratory volume one betam anestenyam sealed am betam tinshno that show large response to inhaled bronchial dilators so asthma na copd mitleyit mindinaw if you give if you give inhaled bronchial dilator for asthmatic patient the patient can have large response okellalu lik bronchial dilator ndesetachu relief miyarak kona that is asthma also the improvements up to 50% are common ነገር ግን 
COPD patients ላይ 15% የሚሆኑት ናቸው ብሮንኮዳይሊተር ከሰጣቸው በኋላ ኢንሄል ዲዮን ወይም ደግሞ በመተንፈሻ የሚሰጥ ብሮንኮዳይሊተር ከሰጣቸው በኋላ 15%ዎቹ ምን ይችላሉ ማለት ነው ሪስፖንስ ይሰጣሉ ግን most commonly asthmatic patient ከሆኑ ግን ብሮንኮዳይሊተር እንደሰጣቸው immediately response ይሰጣቸዋል that is the difference የአዝማ እና የCOPD ልዩነቱ አንደኛ ለmedication response መስጠት አለመስጠት ነው ማለት ነው Asthma patient can also develop chronic not fully reversible air, air flow obstruction. There's a difference between asthma and COPD. Asthmatic patient the air flow obstruction is temporary. It is reversible. COPD patient us like the air flow obstruction it is irreversible. Betam takaran no matter no. So the other part of physiology of COPD is hyperinflation. The air trapping, the air trapping with the air is trapping within the alveola, it increases the residual volume, increases the ratio of residual volume to the lung capacity. So the residual volume is the same as the air metal ratio of the residual volume to the total lung capacity, it increases. Finally, but I'm busy on air minus the current, some boss the current that progress into hyperinflation. Hyperinflation, let's see, but I'm told that there are some by in or a march. You to that there is increased total lung capacity. But I'm here, oh, yes, you meta, ye lung, but I'm distended the orange metal, so that is called that is due to the obstruction of the airway. This come on Saturday state will later become. ማላዳብት ስለዚህ ላንግ ከሚገባው በላይ የተለጠጠች ወይም ደግሞ ሃይፐርኢንፍሌት ይወርሽ ተመጣለች ከሆነ ጊዜ በኋላ ላንግ ራሷ ምን ሆነ ይችላል መመለሳችን ኢሪቨርሲብሊ ዳሜጅ ቶናል ኢሪቨርሲብል ዳሜጅ ያጋጥማታ ዲዩ ቱ ኤር ትራፒ ኤር ትራፒ ዲዩ ቱ ኤር ትራፒ ዳዘር ፓቶፊዚዮሎጂ ኢዝ ጋዝ ኤክስቼንጅ ፕሮብለም gas exchange problem inorbachwal so pd patient us like gas exchange problem bebzat inorbachwal so the what is the gas exchange problem uh, there is a decrease oxygen partial pressure of oxygen the partial pressure of oxygen is less than 50% and usub chalellem ye ye partial pressure of oxygen cha sayan wede uch motat miyigebaw carbon dioxide sayota sikar በሳምባ እና በደም ውስጥ የሚገኝ በብሌድ በዝል ውስጥ የሚገኝ ካርበን ዳይኦክሳይድ ፕሬጀር ይጨምራል that means increase carbon dioxide at around 25% finally the patient can develop severe pulmonary severe pulmonary hypertension core pulmonary hypertension ወይም ደግሞ severe የሆነ pulmonary hypertension ወይም ደግሞ core pulmonary develop ሊያደርግ ይችላል ነገር ግን COPD develop ካደረጉ patients ውስጥ around 25% የሚሆኑት ናቸው የዚ ፕሮብለም ችግር የሚኖርባቸው so this is another pathophysiology of COPD so the pathology the patho pathology በመናይ በሰዓት COPD ሙከ the mucus gland enlargement there is mucus the mucus gland can be enlarged the goblet cells become hyperplasia mucus gland enlarge aragallu selezi more mucus production noral goblet cell hyperplasia noran selezi goblet cell us demo kapetenya yone mucus produce yaragallu due to that the patient can have cap mucus production mucus production lemdene chemro mukniyatum mucus gland enlargement selemi nor and that define the chronic bronchitis but this abnormality are not related to the airway limitation so let's see bro chronic bronchitis like mucus gland enlargement in oral goblet cell hyperplasia in oral benezi mukniyat kafetenya yone mucus production oral ehin neger lemasotat yetemerata mucus lemasotat na irritative yone situation selalle bronchial ust kafetenya yone calf in oral maltno so the goblet cell is not only the goblet cells not only increase in number but it extends through the bronchial tract so the goblet cells not only increase in number kutracho bich adelle mijemaw goblet yemayigenyubet ye bronchial tract part alle lemsale terminal bronchiol respiratory bronchiol menilacho goblet cells ayinu due to 
due to chronic bronchitis እነዚህ ጎብለስ ሴሎች ምን ይሆናሉ ኤክስቴንድ ያደርጋሉ የተለያየ አካባቢ ስፋፉና ከፍተኛ የሆነ ሙከስ ፕሮዳክሽን እንዲሁም ደግሞ ወሉ እንደሞ ናሮ የማድረግ ቻንስ ይኖራቸዋል ማለት ነው so the bronchi also undergoes qualmus metabolism what is normal the normal epithelial cells of the bronchi cido stratified columnar normally cido stratified columnar no but due to chronic inflammation due to smoking the bronchi undergoes qualmus metabolism qualmus what is qualmus cell kiyira cido stratified columnar epithelium what the squamous epithelium kiyira this process is called metabolism so predisposing to carcinogenesis carcino genesis and disrupting the mucosillary clearance squamous metaplasia mucosochin clean lemarag dust particlesochin lemasoged yetefetere cell adal nezin negeroch lemasoged yetefetere cellos cido stratified columnar cellos nachu due to chronic smoking due to chronic bronchitis emphysema nezin cellos squamous yonallo finally the patient is not able to clean the mucus product plus እነዚህ ሴሎች በቀላሉ ደግሞ ወደ ምድን ይቀየራሉ ወደ ካንሰር የመቀየር ቻንስ ላላቸው ማን አይነት ሴሎች ናቸው ማለት ነው ካርሲኖጀነሲስ ሴሎች ናቸው small airway that's a pathophysiology of COPD small airway the patient can have small airway due to uh, increased production of so the major sites of increased resistance in most individuals in COPD is if the airway diameter is less than 2 mm ከ2 mm በታች የሆነ airway air increase resistance በጣም ከፍተኛ የሆነ resistance አለ ያ ማለት ምንድነው በቀላሉ air obstruction የሚከሰት እድሉ ከፍተኛ ይሆናል ማለት ነው this characteristic characteristically cellular changes in goblet cells metaplasia with the mucus secreting cells replacing surfactant secreting which is clara cells the infiltration of mononuclear phagocytes also prominent lemon din no diameter ko 2 mm betacho yonu andenya mononuclear phagocytes infiltrate yaragalu and yon goblet cell metaplasia yinoral kaftinya yona mucus production yikasaba benezi yetenesa small airway weyim demu ye airway diameter በእየቀነሰ ከ2 ሚሊሜትር mm በታች ሲሆን ወፍተኛ የሆነ ኤርዌይ ኦብስትራክሽን ከሰታን ማለት ነው ተዘር ፓቶፊዚዮሎጂ ስሙዝ መሰል ሃይፐርትሮፊ ሪዲዩስ ፋክተር ኢዝ ፓቶፊዚዮሎጂ ኦፍ ሲኦፒዲ ዘ ላንግ ፓራንካማ ዘ ላንግ ፓራንካማ ምን ልላችሁ ነው ማናችሁ ዘ አልቬዮላ ዘ ኮኔክቲቭ ቲሹ ኦፍ ዘ ላንግ ኤንድ ዘ አልቬዮላ ዳ epithelial cells those are lung parenchyma so in the lung parenchyma there is emphysema can they occur so the emphysema is characterized by destruction of gas exchange airway space the respiratory bronchioles alveolar duct and the alveolar emphysema mikasato respiratory bronchioles alveolar duct and alveolar distract bemiyonu besat emphysema yikasata their their walls become perforated and later obliterated with the coalesces of small distinct air space into the abnormal and much larger air space lenezi alveolar alveolar duct spiraled bronchioles bemigodubet saat walacho distract selemiyon kafetenya yihone ምን ይሆናራቸው large air space ይኖራ ስለዚህ dilated የሆነ air space እዚህ ጋር እንደምታዩት ከፍተኛ የሆነ dilated የሆነ air space ይኖራ so this air space not uh, regularly come back መመለስ አይችልም ስለዚህ permanently ምን ይሆና ማለት ነው air dilation ይኖራ that is called emphysema ይሄን ምን እንለዋለን emphysema so emphysema is one part of COPD COPD and part of So the emphysema types of there are different types of emphysema the central acinar emphysema that the types of most frequently associated with cigarette smoking this types of emphysema is associated with cigarette smoking central acinar emphysema is associated with cigarette smoking 
This centre asinar emphysema is characterized by the enlarged air space found initially associated with respiratory bronchioles. This centre asinar emphysema must commonly occur on the respiratory bronchioles. Respiratory bronchioles line by bizat yemikasato. So the centre centre asinar emphysema is more associated with cigarette smoking and. This most commonly occur on respiratory bronchioles. The other parts of emphysema, the other types of uh, emphysema is panacinar emphysema. It is abnormal large air space like that of uh, centrally acinar emphysema. It's it's the, this distributed with across acinar unit. This uh, panacinar emphysema is associated with alpha one antitrypsin deficiency. So alpha one antitrypsin. Deficiency ga associated in Maragam. The first one is associated with cigarette smoking, but this one is associated with genetical makeup of genetical problem related to alpha 1 anti uh, trypsin deficiency. Ka anti trypsin deficiency ga related to yemiadarb ye emphysema in it. So this is a pathogenesis and pathology of COPD. So the airflow limitation, the major physiological change in COPD can result from both small airway obstruction and emphysema. This is the way how COPD is occur. Look, first there is the uh, the person smoke cigarette, cigarette just up. But this had caffeine who no neutrophil. When the more macrophage mineralization approach, inflammatory cells may be lower, crement are going to be less. So, like neutrophils and macrophage, they produce uh, mediator. Mediator, which is important, mainly the proteinase mediator. Serian uh, proteinase and uh, cysteine proteinase mineralization. As protein, you miss a lot of chemical enzyme which is produced are going. So those proteinase inhibitors, the proteinase inhibitors, they degrade degradation and they can cause lung destruction. Nazi proteinase enzyme which many other carlo extracellular matrix degranulation form yadar gallo. Finally, lung destruction kasata. So the lung destruction can be bullet malcono and then yo. The lung destruction can undergo repair. Rasun tagno normally yonat. Kula tanya odomo permanently. When dagmo irreversibly damage kona, it can develop emphysema. Lung destruction na kula chance ochino. Tanda tanya repair we merel rasun adiso mamelas. Kula tanya ona gar dagmo permanently damage mo. Permanently damage kona it undergo emphysema. Oda emphysema ikayara malasno. So what is the clinical presentation of COPD? COPD clinical presentation of COPD natural. The patient can have history of cough. Patient can have history of cough, cough in rich land, and productive cough. Cough is you know? It can be productive cough. So sputum production cough. And the patient is unable to work. So the patient can have uh, Hungering of air due to exertion. So the patient can have exertion at dizziness, cough, sputum production is symptom. So means the patient nasimil katosh. The patient can have those symptom for months and year. Nazi be asrarat kan asram is kanay dala. Nazi sala la biblo meta. Lorat, lorat ametat yal and amet hulet amet koyito ni meta. So the patient may be dead on the onset of their disease at acute illness or exacerbation. With hospital in the limit, I am chilo. Salu level the sustainment. Kasalo boala exacerbate yaraga. Kadam andur factor respiratory infection no biya chwarla. So let's see respiratory infection develops yadar. COPD exacerbate yona na kafite nyi yona. Dizinia, kafetan yang mana muka production nak kaf mimpi bawa sebentar. Bazi saat, pasien tu menyarankan, the patient can under come to seeking of the health center. Health center ini seek mara gue mete ikut jemuran. So that is the initial, the first time for the patient who diagnosis, diagnosis siapa, siapa diagnosis mida raga bazi mungkin. Nampaknya itu. 
ለአመታት ያለ የተለመደ ሳል ነው ብሎ ነው የሚቆይት so careful history uh, taking however you just reveal the presence of septum prior to the acute exacerbation አንዳንድ ጊዜ careful የሆነ ጥንቃቄ በጥንቃቄ ሂስቶሪዎችን በመውሰድ COPD ዲያግኖስ ማድረግ እንችላለን ማለት ነው so exertional dyspnea the exertional dyspnea increase when the patient is effort uh, effort of breathing what is exertional dyspnea it increase the effort to breathe heaviness air hunger and gasping those are exertional dyspnea the activity involving the significant arm more particularly at or above the shoulder level are particularly difficult for patient with COPD COPD patient ከትክሻቸው በላይ ሊሰሩ የሚችሉ ስራዎች መስራት አይችሉም ለምሳሌ መሸከም ሊሆን ይችላል አንዳንድ ነገሮችን በትክሻቸው ይዘው መጓዝ ሊሆን ይችላል እጃቸውን ከሾልደራቸው በላይ አድርገው ሊሰሩአቸው የሚችሉትን ስራዎች መስራት አይችሉም ነገር ግን ከትክሻቸው በታች የሆኑ ስራዎችን ቶለሬት ማድረግ ይችላል ቤተር ቶለሬትድ ማድረግ ይችላል አንዳንድ ስራዎች ከትክሻ በታች መስራት የሚችሏቸው ብዙኛው ፔሽንቶች ይሰራሉ ማለት ነው so the breathing doing simple activity daily living or at rest to is advanced is በጣም አድቫንስ የሆነ ሲመጣ they affect their living condition and they have signs and symptoms on at rest accompanying worsening airflow obstruction increased frequency of exacerbation the patient may also develop resting hypoxia በጣም አድቫንስ የሆነ ሲመጣ ቁጭ ብለው በቂ የሆነ ኦክስጅን ስለሚያጡ they can have resting hypoxia so the patient require the patient require the patient require oxygen oxygen yasfelgachu amaras uh, betam advanced yone simeta qochu blam oxygen beqe yon oxygen sewonatacho magnet aichilim bezi tenessa oxygen supplement yasfelgachu ichila amaras more advanced yone bemimeta besat yemikesset no amaras <coughs> So what is the physical finding of uh, COPD? What is the physical finding of COPD? In the early stage of COPD, patient usually have the patient parents usually have entirely normal physical examination. መጀመሪያ ካይ ምንም አይነት እንትን አይኖርባቸው but the patient can have a sign of active smoking. ee active smokers የሚያጨሱ ሰዎች የሚኖራቸው ሲፕታም ሊኖር ሊኖራቸው ይችላል ሳይኖች ሊነኝ ይችላል ከፈራቸው ጥቁር የበለዘ ምናም ደዛይ ነገሮችን የሚያጨሱ ሰዎች የሚኖራቸው ሲፕታሞች ማወቅ እንችላል በት ፕሮሎንግድ የሆነ ሲመጣ ዘ ፒሸንት ካ ፕሮሎንግድ ኤክስፓራቶሪ ፌዝ ኤክስፓራቶሪ ፌዚንግ ዲቨሎፕ ሊያረብ ይችላል ሶ ዊ ካን አፕሬሽት ፌዚንግ ዊ ካን አፕሬሽት ፕሮሎንግድ ኤክስፓራቶሪ ፌዝ አየር ሲያስወጡ በጣም ብዙ ጊዜ ነው የሚፈጅባቸው air expiration the expiration phase and inspiration phase short now expiration phase ላይ ግን በጣም long እንዲሁ during expiration you can hear wheezing what types of using expiratory wheezing expiratory wheezing ማዳመጥ እንችላለን ማለት ነው in addition to sign of hyperinflation the patient can have barling chest አም የተነፋ ወይም ደግሞ በጣም ሰፊ የሆነ chest ለናይ ይችላል because it is hyperinflation ye hyperinflation ምልክቶች አሉ so sign of hyperinflation are one the barlin chest barlin chest is one of the sign of hyperinflation poor diaphragmatic excretion physical examination like the patient can have poor diaphragmatic excretion this is another sign of hyperinflation in severe ones use accessory muscles በጣም አድቫንስድ ያረጋግ ሲመጣ the patient can use accessory muscles of respiration and the patient want to sit in tripod position the tripod position ነው መቀመጥ የሚፈልገው ምክንያቱም supine position when the lateral position በሚተኙ በሰዓት patientsቹ ምን ችግር ያጋጥማቸው ዲዚኒ ኤክዘርሽናል ዲዚኒ አውስት ይገባሉ ኦክስጅን ሃንገር ይሆናል ዲዩ ቱ ዛት ዘይ ኒድ ቱ ሲት ኦን ትራይፖድ ፖዚሽን ኢን ትራይፖድ ፖዚሽን ዘ ፔሽንት ፋሲሊቴት ዘ አክሽን ኦፍ ዘ መስል ላይ ኤክስተርናሊዶማስቲዊድ ስኬሊንግ ኢንተርናል ኮስታል ኢንተርናል ኢንተርኮስታል መስልስ እነዚህ መስሎች ትራይፖድ ፖዚሽን ላይ በበቂ ሁኔታ መስራት ስለሚችሉ the patient can get enough amount of oxygen in the position of tripod 
So the patient may develop cyanosis. The other sign we can appreciate cyanosis. Visible in the lip and the nail beds. For the systemic wasting, because it's chronic disease, the patient can have weight loss. And uh, this wasting is come due to the, uh, the production of uh, TNF alpha or tumor necrosis factor alpha. Nazi tumor necrosis factor alpha and the chemical they are producing uh, chronic disease like COPD. COPD patients like the COPD patients with chronic disease are the patients like yemi. And so, I mean, mediator is not a mediator, weight loss patient, weight loss in the neuro, yemi other kunacho miles. So, the sign of corpulmonil, this is a complication of COPD. The patient can uh, clubbing of the digit. Clubbing the, is, uh, of the digit is not the sign of COPD. Don't forget that. If you get clubbing, you do not suck. Uh, Expect that patient can have COPD. Clavin Kaginachu will give him the COPD allo blachu, massavilla bachum. But the clavin with COPD limit, limit each la. If you get clavin with COPD, you should expect what? Cancer, lung cancer, and expect marigalla. Is the most likely explanation for newly developed clavin. COPD patient in a permajemarele, because the clavin develop pargo Kaginachu, that patient. Can have core pulmonary and core pulmonary linear bed chula. We have demo heart failure are the bed malice now. We have demo lung cancer develop parwa malice now. But pure COPD without complication, you do not appreciate clubbing. Pure COPD uh, clubbing develop learag actually. So what investigation do you do? What laboratory finding do you get in COPD patient? COPD patient like many laboratory finding go to get to chalala. The hallmark of COPD is airflow obstruction. The hallmark of COPD is airflow obstruction. So the pulmonary function. Uh, so uh, in the spirometry, you can get the percent so functional expiratory volume one. Uh, the ratio of functional expiratory volume 1 in forced vital capacity. With worsening of the disease, the severity, lung volume may increase. Some advanced UNCMETA, worsened UNCMETA, lung volume chamber. Due to that, real, real, real <coughs> resulting in increase in total lung capacity and functional respiratory capacity as well as residual volume. COPD patient was like increase the other and then you total lung capacity bullet forced respiratory capacity so residual body nessus nagaroch COPD patient like rise the other in patient with emphysema the diffusing capacity may be reduced this is my patient like an undancer Diffusing capacity, uh, when the more lung capacity, like can see But most common, most COPD patient in spiro, spirometry uh, result, you can get increasements of total lung capacity, forced respiratory capacity, and residual volume. So, it's not good. I'm not going to tell you. Look, this is uh, table uh, look. Uh, we can classify the COPD uh, in golden criteria. But golden criteria is very tuned. Uh, so by uh, using spirometry, spirometry, uh, we can uh, do golden stage one, two, three, and four. Golden stage one, it is mild severity. Golden stage one, mild severity. Allow, but forced expiratory volume is greater than eighty percent. In moderate golden stage uh, to moderate severity, the forced expiratory volume is greater than scores 50%, but less than 80%. In golden stage 2, se uh, severity severe, the forced expiratory volume is greater than scores to 30%, but less than 50%. But if you say Golden stage 4, 
and severity is very severe it should be the force and expiratory volume one is less than 30% so let's be uh, COPD is classified in stage 1, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, stage 4 based on the forced expiratory volume and forced expiratory volume with the ratio of forced vital capacity but in this stage is stage 1 so the arterial blood gas and the oximetry may be most resisting our exertional hypoxemia if you, if you do ABG, we have the arterial blood gas, we have the oximetry, more advanced, advanced corner, the finding is come at rest, but we have to say hypoxia, my mild and moderate corner, exertional disease, hypoxia. The oxygen is right, you know, better. So let's see the finding of oximetry, uh, arterial blood gas, ABG is positive. Positive. The knowledge of arterial pH, therefore, also classification of ventilatory failure defined the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is greater than 45 millimeter mercury into the acute or chronic portions. Look, you oxygen, what do I mean, you oxygen. Uh, carbon dioxide because of air obstruction. Due to that, there is a accumulation of carbon dioxide within the lung and blood vessels. So, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide increases in COPD patient. COPD patient like partial pressure of oxygen, partial pressure of carbon dioxide in general. So, the COPD patient is like you get partial pressure of carbon dioxide greater than 45 millimeter mercury. That is a typical presentation of uh, COPD. SOPD patient touch mechanism uh, marks me. Basically, it is a sense that you men are getting Our bodies increase the production of RBC. Because on oxygen, by mat at with a sense that you can fit in your own men don't matter to general RBC which matter to general. So let's see. We can get elevated hematocrite. This suggests that there is a presence chronic hypoxia. But I'm not judging this chronic on hypoxia. By men or not, the body to compensate this. They produce much amounts of RBC that can cause right ventricular hypertrophy. So radiographical studies, just X-ray, we can get different features. So may assist in the classification of types of COPD. So we can get obvious bullae, paucity of parenchymal marking hyperlucency which suggests emphysema the chest x-ray if you get the bully paucity of parenchymal marking hyperlucency that suggests what emphysema of COPD so emphysema is one type of COPD so emphysema of COPD so the increased lung volume Increased lung volume, fl uh, flattening of the diaphragm is the other side, uh, symptom of uh, the other, other signs of radiological signs of COPD. This would be the radiological sinus natural as a So, multiple factors lead to hyperinflation of air traffic. One, low flattened diaphragm. Uh, in the COPD patient, chest x ray cassara boala, yemenachus sign of child, and then hyperinflation now. Let the diaphragm become flattened. So we can get increased anterior posterior diameter. So the anterior posterior diameter is increased, flattening of the diaphragm, and hyperinflation indicate that this is the patient develops COPD. COPD developer sinus chest x-ray. So CT scan is the current definitive test for establishing the presence or absence of emphysema. So, CT scan is a very COPD is a chronic bronchitis now, with emphysema. No. Emphysema is a So, CT scan is a very good Patient emphysema lung develops emphysema. So, in the 
emphysema of a CT scan of COPD, chest C scan of a patient with COPD who underwent the left single of lung transplant. Note that the re reduced parenchymal markings the right lung as compared to the left lung representing the emphysematous distractions of the lung. So the medial shift to the left indicative hyperinflation. Ziga look Hinna, the problem is fine here. Ziga no matter no problem. COPD develop ya dera go lang hinyo no matter. So unilateral no lang disease develop ya dera gichila bishu no matter. So the test for alpha one antitrypsin deficiency in all subjects with COPD or asthma with chronic airflow obstruction. Alpha one antitrypsin deficiency is most common in COPD patient. COPD patient is the most common. So asthma with chronic airflow obstruction should be Diagnose alpha one anti anti trypsin deficiency. Alpha one anti trypsin check me daragan lab. Sometimes chronic yon airflow obstruction kalle with asthmatic patient we suspect COPD with asthmatic patient. Asthma na COPD uh, suspect mara ginor pena What is the treatment of what is the treatment of uh, <coughs> COPD? The treatment of COPD. For stable phase COPD, but I'm stable low on a patient, the Nara game in Chilona, advanced low on a patient, yem minara killat, yakuminar data etalayen. So, stable phase of COPD, we should do smoking sessions. Much as Makomala, but completely smoking session with the most stop smoking. Image Meros Ramansara, much as Diako, Madragon. Next to that, we give oxygen. And advanced we can do lung volume reduction surgery. We can do the lung volume reduction surgery. Select a patient with emphysema. If we do if you give medication supportive care, but the patient is not responsible for those cares, we, we can undergo lung volume reduction surgery, mainly for emphysema patient. Physima patient was like COPD, 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 emphysema, and emphysema, and emphysema, and emphysema, and emphysema, and emphysema, So suggest that, but no definitive evidence for uh, surgical procedure is not a definitive, uh, I mean, medical uh, uh, treatment is not a definitive. So let's say medication, but like in a girl, COPD, uh, madan. It is very difficult. So all other current therapy are directed improving the symptom, decreasing the frequency and severity of exacerbation. A surgical procedure which are not absent to a common the patient will see the symptoms of 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 the Completely, ah, uh, you know. So because of this irreversibly on you know, a damage in lung related So patient is patient. If you do uh, therapy, the therapy can improve the symptom, decreasing the frequency and the severity of exacerbation. Exacerbation severity, you know, So the ph pharmacotherapy of the COPD, we we should stop smoking session. So strongly urged to quiet and educated about the benefit of quieting, stopping smoking. Much as many in the commandalo, masradat yinorbunal, much as unum indiago marag yinorbunal. That is the way smoking session is the good way for prevention of COPD as well as treatment of COPD. COPD la makalakal, no COPD in the metanula makam, imiagalagal no marsna. So the bupur point gil. 
ሰውየው ስሞኪንግ ላይ የነበረ ሰው ምን ይሆናል ማለት ነው ዲክተር ሊሆን ስለሚችል እሱን ሪፕሌስ የሚያደርጉ ቴራፒዎች ያስፈልጋሉ ላይክ ቡፕሮፒን አሲዩላስ ኒኮቲን ሪፕሌስመንት ቴራፒ እነዚህን ቴራፒዎች ምንድነው ስሞኪንግ ላይ የነበረው ስሞከር አቢዩዝ ወይም ዲፔንደንስ ይኖርበታል የኒኮቲኒክ ሪፕሌስመንት ቴራፒ ያስፈልጋል ማለት ነው አለበለዚያ ሱስ ላይ የነበረ ሰው በቀጥን አቁም ብንለው እንደገና ሌላ በሽታ develop him and also we should tell the patient how to stop the desert medication is bronchodilator we should give bronchodilator like anticholinergic beta agonist theophylline those bronchodilator they dilate the bronchioles and, and increase the diameter of the bronchial and inhaled we give also inhaled glucocorticoids like uh, uh, corticosteroid drugs that suppress the inflammation inflammation is suppress miyaragulun glucocorticoid drugochin insetallen in patient with frequent exacerbation defined two or more per year in patient who demonstrate significant amount of acute reversible response to inhaled bronchodilator so bronchodilator the inhaled bronchodilator insetallen like that of asthmatic patient like in asthmatic patient ድብ ደሞ ኢንፍላሜሽኑን የሚቀንሱ ኢንሃል ግሉኮኮርቲኮይዶችን እንሰጣለን ላይክ ፕሪዲኑሶሎን ለክ እንደ ፕሪዲኑሶሎን ኢፍ ዘ ፔሸንት ሁ ሃዝ አ ፕሮብለም ዊዝ ኦፍ ፕሮብለም ዊዝ ሃይፖጉዣ ሃይፖጉዣ ፕሮብለም ካለ በደሞ ዊ ሹድ ጊቭ ኦክስጅን ሶ ሱፕሊሜንታል ኦክስጅን ዘ ኦንሊ ፋርማኮሎጂያ ቴራፒ ዲሞንስትሬት ቱ ዲክሪዝ ዘ ሞርታሊቲ ኢን ፔሸንት ዊዝ ሲኦፒዲ ኢን ኦርደር ቱ ዲክሪዝ ዘ ሞርታሊቲ ሪቲ ኦፍ the mortality of the patient in COPD we should give oxygen but the indication for giving oxygen for COPD patient is the oxygen saturation should be less than 88% or less than 90% ta samana 8% wem ke 90% betach mohon inorbetal so patient also have a sign of pulmonary hypertension the sign of right heart failure one of the complication of COPD is development of pulmonary hypertension this pulmonary hypertension finally develop right heart failure so the patient can have a sign and symptom of heart failure right side of heart failure sign and symptom of right side of heart failure can develop in patient with COPD COPD yalla bad patient right heart right side heart failure develop argo yezan sign symptom osh binoru tichilalu selezi right side heart failure yallebat pulmonary hypertension develop la adarrega oxygen saturation ka 88 betach weyim demo less than 90% ka hona we should keep oxygen oxygen mestat dinorbnal malesna so the patient meeting this criteria should be continued oxygen supplementation as a mortality benefit is proportion oxygen min seta one now mkhnyat lemindino to decrease mortality rate so you inday mot lamareg inji lamadan adellem okay ta cpd indidin mareg sayon mortality rate undi kanes inday mot etosenem dagmo nezi corticosteroid bronchodilator ochin satano ton survivor go indi koyillen lamasab lamadreg oxygen inji oxygen is not therapy it is supportive care e oxygen supportive care no martino So supplemental oxygen is commonly prescribed for a patient who is exertional dyspnea nocturnal hypoxia also the rationale for supplementation of oxygen in the setting is physiologically sound the benefit of such therapy are not well substantiated other agents for cpla cpd patient means that acho lelich agents imejemeriya mindino smoking session smoking matches ndi akom na ragalle bronchodilatorochin setallen glucoco glucocorticoid wem demo nezi immuno suppressor drugochin inflammatory suppressor drugochin setallen oxygen supplementation kas fellegaw setallen then other agentochin mestat inchila specific treatment in the form of intravenous alpha 1 antitrypsin augmentation therapy genetically alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency yalla bad patient we should give intravenous iv alpha 1 antitrypsin augmentation therapy alpha 1 antitrypsin enzyme inject na adergilatallen malatsu then pharmacological therapies gen uh, we, we should give general medical care influenza vaccine annually polyvalent pneumococcal vaccine nezi general medical care osh nacho 
COPD ያለባቸው ፔሸንቶች በሚኖሩበት አካባቢ እነዚህን አይነት ቫክሲኖችን በመስጠት አፐር ሪስፓራቶሪ ወይም ደግሞ ሎው ሪስፓራቶሪ ኢንፌክሽን ዴቨሎፕ እንዳያደርጉና ፋይናሊ ዘ ፔሸንት ኮምፕሊኬትድ አስ ኤክዘርቬሽን COPD ዴቨሎፕ አርገው እንዳይመጡ ለማድረግ የምንሰጣቸው ኬሮች ጄነራል ሜዲካል ኬሮች ናቸው so the preliminary rehabilitation we give we can give education cardiovascular condition improving the health related quality of life disease exercise capacity reduce the rate of hospitalization over 6 up to 12 months rate ስለዚ exercise እንዲሰሩ ስራ በብዛት እንዳያበዙ quality of life አቸውን እንዲያሸሽሉ ምክር እንሰጣለን ማለት finally finally እነዚህ አርገን ነገር ግን ፊዚማ ኮሆነ ኢሲፒዲ ኮዙ ሹድ ጂብ ላንግ ቮሉም ሪዳክሽን ሰርጀሪ ፊዚማ ያለበትን ላንግ በጣም ላንግ እጅግ በጣም ትልቅ ነው የምትሆነው ስለዚህ ሹ ጂብ ላንግ ቮሉም ሪዳክሽን ሰርጀሪ this patient are excluded if they have significant pleural disease ማለት ላንግ ቮሉም ሪዳክሽን የማንሰራ የማንሰራ አላቸው ፔሸንቶች contraindication significant pleural disease pulmonary artery stellar pressure extreme d condition congestive heart failure severe comorbidity conditions are contraindicated for lung volume reduction lung volume reduction የማንሰራላቸው ፔሸንቶች ናቸው ማለት ነው finally curative therapy lung transplantation So COPD is a single leading indication for lung transplantation. COPD is a single lung reduction for a uh, single leading indication for lung transplantation. መጨረሻ ላይ እነዚህ ሁሉ ህክምናዎች አርገን መሻል ከሆነ ከሚሞት lung transplantation በእንሰራለት ፔሽንቱ የተሻለ ኢምፕሩቭመንት ይኖራል። So lung transplantation is Uh, mainly indicated for COPD the COPD indicator no matter so this is a graph of uh, therapy the a graph of therapy uh, for example if a patient was stage 0 to say stage 0 that is normal patient and we we advise the patient for stop smoke smoking in that so macrochal mild stage 1 mild stage 1 smoking session the norach influenza vaccine set allen and in addition to stop smoking session we 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 give bronchodilators stage 2 we advise smoking session smoking session advice naragallen we should give bronchodilator in addition to bronchodilator stopping smoking session we should give corticosteroid long acting bronchodilator as well as pulmonary rehabilitation for severe stage 3 we advise patient for smoking we give bronchodilator as well as corticosteroid drugs and we we also add corticosteroid steroidochin add na ragale for stage 4 we should give those things we advise smoking we give bronchodilator we we should give corticosteroid drugs finally we can give oxygen as well as lung transplantation surgery stage 4 lab mainly mensarallachu stage 4 yedarasa patient very severe on COPD develop kadaragu surgical procedures important nacho malatna so this is all over about COPD so la COPD attakalay ehin imaslal ስለነበረን ጊዜ በጣም አመሰግናለሁ መልካም ጊዜ ሰላም ነው